trying to enjoy this nice spring weather that we finally are getting. It's very nice out in the 60s. So we are all taking advantage of this weather. <laughs> so Nala's got her paddle fan on. She said some ice water today. She's uh, picking up the pounds. Her milk is in. I looked this morning and she does have milk, which normally milk will come. It, milk is a funny thing. It can either come the day of labor or shortly after labor or two weeks before labor. So there's no rim, rhyme or reason for when milk comes in, but her milk is in. Um, she did have a singleton her first time and she had a lot of milk for just the singleton. So I have no doubt that um, she will have enough milk for her babies. Um, this Friday I'm debating if I should go and get an x-ray count for her. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to. The only way I wouldn't is if I couldn't get an appointment at a reproductive vet. So maybe they can squeeze us in. We have been a we have gone there before. It's not like we're new customers. So we'll try to do that. And um, she's growing pretty well. I've peeked at the puppies and they're so big now you can't tell one puppy from the next. So, but we'll see. Um, she still does look pretty full. I mean, I don't think she's enormous, but I think she will have a fair size litter. And I have looked at <clears throat> Eva, Eva is pregnant, but um, I'm thinking a very small litter. I almost think she only has a singleton. Um, that's all I've been able to detect with my ultrasound. Um, like I said last week, I really wasn't sure she was even pregnant until the last minute. And then I did see um, the small sack. So I decided to wait another week and look again so I did and I still only see one puppy so I think it is a singleton <clears throat> and that will be her first singleton ever um, not ours though Nala had a singleton before um, but he didn't survive we're hoping this one does um, so we'll we'll investigate that more as we get closer along but that one puppy does look good in size um, I was looking at it the other day. It's wiggling around and everything else. Um, <clears throat> so people that are on um, Eva's list, anybody over the firsts will automatically go to Nala's. And then we do have some breedings coming up next month. So if all outs fails, they'll be moved to those litters. That's just kind of how the way it goes. Um, she was bred the same day. She's always been bred, but for some reason, her ovulation was different and we are only catching one puppy and honestly if it's a girl she might not be going anywhere she might be staying right here so I will have to um, wait and see if it is indeed a singleton if it's a boy it already has a home if it's a girl it may be staying here depending on um, you know what we see but uh, those are the plans, so we still will um, be waiting and seeing. It's um, Eva's a very good mother, so I don't know what she's going to do with just one puppy because she loves being and playing with her puppies and stuff. So we'll see. If Nala has a big litter, maybe she can help out Nala, but maybe not. We won't know until we get further along. So um, we have a couple weeks left for Nala and um same with eva she's um due on the 13th and her baby looks you know looks good size so i'm not sure if she'll go around the same time sometimes with um singletons it can be a little tricky but i'm not going to dive into that topic for too much today so we're just i'm still buying supplies for two litters i just um so I do buy comforters and I usually just buy like cheap twin size comforters, whatever I can find because they're going to get junked. I'll use them for litter to litter and then after a while I just junk them. So I was able to score some um, little kitty <laughs> twin size comforters for the upcoming litters and the litters to follow. Um, 
I am trying a, a bunch of new um, disposable, um, reusable, it's called puppy pads, but it's also for uh, whelping. So I'm gonna, I got a couple different brands. I also am trying these out. They're also a high absorbing pad for whelping at home. Um, I have been able to score some new <laughs> twin sh uh, twin uh, comforter sets for the puppy room also and my normal pads that I have that I sleep with um, in here I was checking everything out she said I didn't really have all that stuff in there and I still do have all the I still do have all the blankets that we normally use for she said hmm, did my mom had all that huh yeah Nolly so we got we got the stuff so we have the supplies. We are just waiting, huh, Nala? So this is will be kind of like Nala's first litter because um, she didn't get to be mommy too long to her last puppy. He was a singleton. She's hot and her paddle fan's going. Huh. Hmm. What can I get into, she says. So she has been spending all her time up here uh, still isn't keen on going over the wall for the whelping box, so I may have to come up with something else for her. She doesn't like jumping over that, and it's okay. So, it's a nice warm day. We, we went and got some... We went and got some errands done today. We got all our posts for our dog enclosure and our chicken coop. I have been getting tons of eggs. I don't know if anybody out there is, has chickens, but we do. And I'm getting about a dozen a day. And my new turkeys, I have two new girl turkeys, and she is laying every day. So, might as well put those eggs in the incubator. So, we have puppies coming, chickens coming, turkeys coming. Uh, we have geese coming next month, so uh, we're getting prepared for everything, and we actually love it this spring. So we're we're super excited to get our projects going and um, see little puppies. We love having spring and summer puppies that can go outside. Nala's chewing on her peanut butter jar now. So peanut butter jars are a luxury treat in this house. So what we do is we toss them in the freezer and then on a warm day we give them the peanut butter jar. And she has like her raised bed over here, but she still prefer to be on this. I think because she's running warm, so the floor feels nice and cool. And she does have her paddle fan going. So we have our little guys outside enjoying today's weather. Um, I was just outside. Uh, enjoying the weather, getting things ready for some babies. And her belly is growing. She's kind of, um, Nala is bigger than her mom, but smaller than her dad. So her mom is Ebby, our blue. And you can see her belly sticking out right here. And Farley's her dad. So her dad is a hundred and he's a little overweight. So I got him slimming down, but he's almost 180. And then her mom is about, I'd say 130, Ebby. Maybe 120 something actually, because she's most my most lean. So Nala kind of is a thick, but not overly done girl. So I think she's perfect size. And I think Diesel, he's the mate um, to her, she's, he's the daddy to her babies. Uh, he's kind of a short guy. But he's got a beautiful head, like a nice thick head and good lips, but not overdone. He's not droopy. Uh, he's pretty perfect, I think. So I can't wait to see. Um, who knows, maybe we'll be keeping one from this litter. I'm not sure. But we definitely are keeping one puppy, just not sure which one from yet. So we'll see. But Nala's doing good. Um, her milk is in. 
Uh, she's eating pretty good. She loves her favorite thing right now is fresh farm eggs. So she's having a lot of duck eggs and chicken eggs with her breakfast lunch and dinner she pretty much eats three four times a day and she is on puppy food part puppy food part kibbles so that's her just waiting for puppies to come along um we've had some outside studdings lately uh love is in the air i guess so everybody's been busy we're waiting for lexi to come in he and evie and um waiting for these guys to have their puppies can't wait always love puppies even though i go i don't know when's our last puppies go home uh, yeah it hasn't been too long oh, she's pulling the wrapper off now but it's always nice can't wait for this uh may to get our planting going and get our everything expanded so that's a little update with what's going on here. Not any really big news. I may have big news next week, um, depending if I can get her scheduled in for an x-ray to kind of see. Um, we'll see what she's packing. <laughs> she's awful sweet. She's a sweet girl, Nala. She's walking around with her peanut butter container. So that's the update for this week. If you have any questions or comments you can leave them down um here or you can go to our facebook page and leave them there um all the litters we have people contacting us every day about litters these litters are all full nala's and eva's are have been full for a while so we are not taking deposits for these two litters anymore they're pretty much already all have homes um the uh the next ones would be ebby and Lexi Lou. Ebby's due to go in heat next month. She's our blue. I'm not sure who I'm going to breed her with yet, but it will be one of our guys. So it'll be Diesel or Farley. Her and Farley make beautiful merrells. That's why I've bred them quite a bit together. Well, every time pretty much. And they're like best friends, so that makes it easier too. Um, and their roommates, they share, they share their own room. But these litters are full uh we we can't really squeeze anybody in um especially now that we know that eva may just have a singleton i'm hoping for more but i honestly think it's just a singleton so we shall see um you never really know how it goes uh sometimes it's just the way they go and they ovulate and but one or five or ten we, we just still enjoy them all so can't wait it'll be fun that little baby won't be by himself because he'll have these guys to play with he'll have nala's um babies and if we all remember eva's the one that produces the biggest puppies here she had motley he was over 24 pounds when he went home so i have no doubt that her singleton will catch up with these guys and probably be bigger than than uh than Nala's so they'll all be able to play together. It is like for three different projects. Um, one we have to relocate our dogs enclosure because we had problems this year with our leech field because our dogs love to dig up the leech field so therefore we had a frozen pipe for the last part of the month. That's not fun so we might relocate these little guys away from the leech field so that's we're gonna need more posts than we already have. We use these for raised beds. And we're also making our chicken enclosure, well, chickens, ducks, guineas, and we have geese coming next month. So we wanna really expand their closure um, now that we've actually got some of our um, land um, trees moved. That's why we've been cutting trees and trying to make space for all our birds and animals and creatures that live here so we also found that there has been like a shortage on getting dog food so i mean we normally stockpile it but we've been doing a little bit more um these are 40 pound bags and we go through probably i want to say three bags a week um, we do have two litters coming up and as you know our puppies do eat this too 
Um, we always start them off on this stuff. Um, and then we just tell people, you know, if you want to feed your puppy something else, just gradually switch them over. But this was what works for us. So we've been, you know, getting, trying to stockpile it because um, there is seem to be some kind of a shortage or a problem with getting it to the tractor supply. So um, we would actually went around to different tractor supplies to try to get it to. And this is also where I have my little brooder set up. So I've got to clean this out, get it ready for my chickens that I have on the incubator and my little geese that are coming. So this is kind of a, another room in our barn that's kind of a catch-all, but um, just talking about different shortages and it's crazy this pandemic, what actually um, is affected by it. So we always order from Chewy, whether it be supplies that we need for um, our big guys. Um, we order our raised dishes there. Um, what else? Toys, treats, uh, cat food. Um, but I put in an order to Chewy because um, I'd said some of my other videos how Diesel's chewing on stuff. He does have toys in there, but um, I ordered some more stuff to try to keep him occupied on his downtime. Him and my other youngsters. So I thought these were cute. Um, Farley loves toys, so that's probably Farley will get one of those. But I got a bunch of different... Um, I don't know if anyone's used any of these. I haven't before, but I figured I'm going to try different ones and find out which ones our, our gang likes. This one's supposed to be um, made with real wood. So I ordered, and it's supposed to uh, be like bacon. So we'll see which one Diesel's going to go for. And I always want to try to order like bigger things too because we do have big ones. This is a dog wood. It's supposed to be good to chew on. So I tried that one too. And then I think I tried another one. Yeah, antlers for a power chewer. We'll see how powerful they are. It's supposed to taste like Venice. So I ordered a bunch of those and then we do have puppies coming. So I ordered some like small chewing things for the little guys that are will be born. And I usually have like toys and after their litters are gone, I'll wash and salvage what I can. Sometimes they tear them up, but I got a bunch of different chewing toys for our chewers. Uh, keep our little monsters occupied because we do, we have chewers and then Farley loves stuffed animals. So he steals whoever he can get. So we'll see if any of these, uh, will indeed keep them occupied says to keep them occupied we'll see made in the u.s that's nice so i always order stuff i ordered um some whelping pad blankets too so this is just one of the little packs that we do order for to keep our little guys entertained because they do have downtime so if they're going to be in their crates or kennels we try to keep them busy and have stuff for them to do or chew on so they don't get bored Hi, Diesel. He's got himself a bed slipper. Yes, you're a good boy. You mama's good boy. Yes, you little love. You little baby. You mama's baby. Yes. Where's your little friend? Oh, there she is. Hi, Maggie, do. I'm surprised they didn't notice the kitty cat hiding. Oh, did you guys notice the kitty cat? Gotta check out the toys, the baby toys. Hi. Is you playing with Maggie outside? Now that it's nicer weather, they get to spend a little bit more time outside. They like it. And finally, all the snow and ice is melting off from their enclosure. But I think we might have to move their enclosure this year. Their yard for playing. Maggie do Magnolia. Hi, Magnolia. Getting ready for their breakfast, so they're wondering what Dad's giving them. 
think you guys are having leftovers. Diesel likes to go in the bathroom and bring out stuff. That's where the slipper came from. No slippers in there to bring out? No. Okay, just the one you already found. Hmm. 